let's read it. Let's see what Hannah Choi Shouju Wu has to say for us today. Patch 913 notes. Ooh, unlucky. What if this is an unlucky patch? Hey, tacticians. Who's ready for some team fight tactics? Uh, we will begin rolling out to regions all over the world starting today. Okay, so it's coming to the uh, the official launch of the long-awaited game mode. How long has it been? Like two weeks since they said it was coming out. We're welcoming Quiana, that's her name. The Rift as well. The Empress of the Elements is sure to tickle the bones of those who love playing quick and high damage assassins. I see. Let's check it out. This is unimportant to me. I don't really care. Quiana, Empress of the Elements. Let's get to her faction hub, universe hub. I haven't seen her uh, spotlight. She, they got the champion spotlight, champion teaser. Here it is. There will always be someone who is better. Trailer. I want the spotlight. How am I gonna know? Freak. Maybe they don't even know what she does. Where's her page? Quiana. Here we go. Royal privilege. I'm triggered. Quiana's next basic attack or damaging ability against a target unit deals 15 to 83 based on level plus 55% bonus AD and 30% AP. So she's like a hybrid a stats edit uh, am i allowed to edit i can be the editor uh, i don't know what element is parashape it's her passive what ability is this i don't know I thought this was her passive. Active. Supreme display of talent. Sends a wind blast. What level do you need to be to that? Does she have any death runes? In the target direction that knocks back enemies. The wind blast stops upon hitting a wall. The wind blast then creates a shockwave across any river or brush it passes, as well as around the borders of terrain it reaches, dealing physical damage and stunning enemies based on proximity. 14% max health, 170% bonus AD scaling. Dashes a fixed distance towards the target unit dealing physical damage. So it, you are supposed to build her AD. There will always be someone who is better. And that person is me. Yeah. Be conquered by me. How proud you are of your abilities. Like an ape who just found a stick. That chill in the air, eats me. They'll never see me coming. What a shame. So that's the alt. No? Why did it stop if it didn't hit the wall?
Whoa! Okay, I still have no idea what's going on. Anyway. She's in the game now. Another character that I don't know what she does is in the game. Congratulations. Corky, our ammo bar now reads left to right. That might be a little strange. Uh, passive hex tech mutations munitions. That's the word that you're looking for. Munitions, sir. Uh, I don't care about ARAM ammo bar. So all they're really doing is switching the ammo bar. Diana, I don't know why this is shown as like the first. Uh, this is bad. This is not a change. This is like a bug fix. Diana, Q, quality of life change. We've recoded Diana's Q so it feels better when casting. Most of the improvements are pretty subtle. So we've listed a couple of the more explicit upgrades here to make sure you know about them. Tip of Diana's Crescent Strike arc now reveals fog of war for a short duration. So that, that might be cool. Uh, Crescent Strike cast more consistently aim towards the cursor. Travel slightly faster. Oh no! This was already hard enough to dodge. Alawi. Uh, w maximum damage added also applies to turrets. Tentacles disappear faster when Alawi leaves. I like that. E spirit and vessel duration decreased. Time between tentacle attacks decreased. Our tentacle clap increased. Our tentacle cap increased. Uh, AP ratio. Tentacles will no longer go into an idle state when Alawi is not around to command them. Hmm. Does that mean that they never go into not attacking mode? They're always in attack mode? Bye. TikTok, Alawi can now ping Prophet of the Elder Gods cooldown to her team. Okay. Harsh lesson. Minimum damage. Kick it into overdrive. Minimum damage is dealt as bonus damage to turrets. That's good for... Laning. Maximum summons from 5 to 6 tentacles. Leap of Faith tentacles no longer despawn mid-attack if Alawi commands them to slam with Harsh Lesson. A little bit of a nerf on Karma. Movement speed duration down by one second. Okay, so they don't match anymore. The, the point was for them to match. And then they took away the matching. Okay. Whatever. Q damage ratio increased to 1.1. Oh, he's gonna be OP now, dude! Like, Q cooldown decreased early, stab damage bonus removed. W movement speed now scales. E no longer damages non champions. So they just don't want him to be a laner anymore. So this di no longer damages. It probably still stuns them, but his clear is greatly decreased now. But the movement speed goes up to 60% from 40 at max rank. I think that's pretty good. This cooldown is a nice two seconds early in lane is actually quite a bit. Bone Skewer Stab no longer deals 15% bonus damage. Stabbing target, AoE 30% is now single target, hits nearest unit, preferring nearest champion. 
We're targeting solo lane pike because his strong anti-harass tools make him an impossible to avoid death trap if he gets too far ahead. To help curb that, we're specifically hitting his wave clear. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Sejuani's max health down. Health growth is down as well. I find Sejuani to be like a, a always extremely good character just based on her kit, but... That's cool. Sever ricochet mana cost up, mana regen flattened, and damage growth flattened. Fine with that. Ability power nerfed. Song of Celerity. Bonus movement speed ratio from 3% per 100 ability power. So just an overall pretty giant nerf to my girl movement speed i don't know why they would do that i don't think that this was ever the problem i th i think that this was just like a nice little thing whatever a note from shoi shoju y'all knew it was coming we're nerfing my baby girl q aura damage ratio decreased e bonus movement speed ratio decreased eh. i don't feel like sona's really that strong Maybe I'm just biased. They're trying to get Silas back into his spot again. He's tough to balance. Abscond. Abduct. Tooltip now properly mentions all mana scaling per rank. Kingslayer damage moved up by 5 and then 25 at max. Health growth up by 10. Whoa. So you want him to be tankier? What's the deal? Some tweaks here and there. Magic damage up by 10? I like Tristana. Cleaning up her base stats and giving her a minor buff for when she opts into a more aggressive playstyle. Oh yeah, dude. Mana region flattened. Mana flattened. Yeah, it's all fine. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I heard that they changed this guy quite a bit too. Oh dear. What's up? 40% attack speed. No, 40% move speed. So he's slipperier. Move speed duration is up by an extra quarter second. Turtle stance shield goes up by 35. Uh, all abilities can now be leveled up six times, starting at 16. Oh, I see. So he can decide to put it into a different stance. We're looking to bring up balance to Udyr's stances and playstyles, so he's not overwhelmingly choosing one over the others. Plus, he'll now have some useful points to spend at later levels. Cool. Down with that. Uh, responsiveness pass. Jarvin's E, Q, Hennon's E, and Trindamir E. wonder what that's like. Some changes here. I read about this on Twitter. I like this a lot, actually, BF Sword. And because I like buying BF Sword more, the combined cost is down by 325. Overall, up by 100. But this is a better item, in my opinion. We made it stronger and think it merits BF Sword's inclusion in its recipe again. However, now that it is stronger, it should be easier to build than Infinity Edge, which it is similar to in strength and tier. I disagree with that. I think that it's a substantially less powerful item, but... And that's shown by the build path, right? Like, if you can build Caulfields, it should be weaker than 
i.e. because you have to save. Randuin's armor up by 10, that seems like a pretty aggressive buff. It's a cloth armor. Fifteen. Okay, so not even a cloth armor. But still like two hundred gold worth. That's fine. Baroa combined cost down by hundred. Cool. Rod of Ages takes too long to provide its benefits. I agree. Especially because you can't build uh well, you could build Lost Chapter, but Lost Chapter is so much faster in terms of getting the mana that you care about. Tankiness of Rod of Ages, I think there are just less characters mid that like to go tanky now. Oh well, it's good. Damage text updates. I did notice this, actually. Crit damage text animation should feel more impactful and satisfying. I did notice this. I played one game on Korea which was patched before and I did notice that the text was different. Uh, bug fixes. Calling now properly activates the move speed bonuses from hitting targets with Ardent Blaze. No longer ignore. No longer also mutes your own pings. Yeah, I noticed this. Talia Morgana and Ezreal's ability BO lines will play less frequently. That's good. Oh well. Overall, it seems like a pretty mad patch. We'll see how that Quiana character is.